Welcome to the life. <laughs> oh, tell me how you could just see my side and just forget me. What's up, Sean? And all the things we did together. Hey, that's me. All right, so it is Wednesday. It's the third day of this psychiatry rotation, which is pretty crazy because I literally had psychiatry like two rotations ago and now I'm already doing it again. It's been a pretty good week so far. Monday I was in the adult clinic and then yesterday I was in the pediatric clinic and today is kind of like a day off because all we have today is two hours of didactics. So a lot of rotations will have didactic sessions, which is basically lectures given by some of the residents or by the attendings on certain topics in that field. And I don't really know what we're gonna be talking about today, but I think one of the residents is giving the talk and it's only for two hours from one to three and I have the entire rest of my day off after that. Since it's only two hours long, I think what I'm gonna do is pack some gym clothes and go to the gym after. Even though I normally go to the gym around six or seven or eight o'clock at night, I think it'll be nice to just get out of the way early in the day and then I can spend the rest of the day doing work. Anyway, it's about time to get going. So I'm all done with didactics. It was pretty chill. We talked about borderline schizotypal and avoidant personality disorders and their treatments. And now I'm going to the gym. I'm going to start off with my, you know, incline walk at an incline of 13, speed of three miles an hour for 30 minutes, like I always do. And then I'm going to run probably about three miles uh, with a huge focus and emphasis on a good warm up like pace for the first mile. That's something I've been working on with my running form. Uh, and then I'll lift probably like. I don't know, chest and back maybe after, and then that'll be it. Hi. Okay, so I'm home from the gym. I had a pretty good workout, and now the plan for the rest of the night is basically to do some cleaning, uh, I want to work on some video editing for my psychiatry clerkship video and then I also want to do some studying of course, some practice questions and everything. For the last few weeks, I would say probably like a month or so, I feel like I've been in like a funk. I don't know if it's like emotional, mental, physical, I don't know what it is, but I've had like a hard time with like motivation in terms of studying and just like getting work done. I know this is something like, you know, students just go through in general uh, and this is just one of the realities of med school. So over the past like two weeks or so, I would say uh, it's been getting better, you know, especially as I've been, you know, going to the gym, listening to audiobooks and stuff like that. And another thing that I've been doing every day is like a little bit of cleaning and decluttering my apartment because, you know, when your environment is cluttered, your brain kind of feels cluttered as well. So like every single day, I've been like doing some form of cleaning, reorganizing, throwing things away. And you're probably wondering, Sean, why are you sitting in the floor of your bathroom? Well, tonight my goal is to just deep clean the bathroom, get everything like scrubbed down, you know, scrub the bathtub, throw things away, like bottles and things I don't need, reorganize everything. And you know, tomorrow night I'll do like my bedroom and my closet and everything, you know, just like one project pretty much every single day. Uh, it's part of like, you know, my habit building that I've been working on, which has been great. My apartment is like super clean and really organized right now which I really like and I'm just gonna like keep it going. guys happy thursday i got terrible sleep last night i don't know why i am exhausted this morning but i'm about to head to the clinic today instead of seeing patients we're going to be joining in with the group sessions and kind of seeing what it's like for the patients that come in for these group sessions where they learn about different things like coping mechanisms you know sleep hygiene anxiety all that kind of stuff so it should be a good day Our white coat on how does it look not too bad all right let's go all right guys, so this is my friend Nader on the site rotation with me. We are currently having lunch. I'll put a loco for the second time this week. We just got done with our morning in 
the day treatment program, which has been a lot of fun. Everyone's been super nice. They have like music classes, exercise, anger management. They did like an anger management workshop. It's been pretty cool. <laughs> Do anyone else's dogs play like they're trying to kill each other or they're wrestling like it's WWE? Because that's how Chip and Chewy play. They literally sound so aggressive and they're like going crazy all the time. But that's just like how they play. And I don't know why, but they just love it so much. And they play like that until they're this tired. And then they'll take a little nap and they'll do it all over again in like an hour. Chewy, you are getting a haircut tomorrow, buddy. You are looking shaggy. Hey, Chip Chip. All right, here's Chewie's new haircut. He hates the groomers, but he was a good boy. And look how clean he looks. Hi, Bubba's. I'm sorry for leaving you there. <laughs> good morning. This is where Chip likes to, likes to lay right above my head. While Chewy likes to lay right at my side, cuddled up against me. Hey guys, happy Monday. So I don't have any clinicals today because it is Memorial Day but I do have some work I have to do. So for the last few months, I've been completely dresserless. Like this is literally the sad state of my room. There's like, you know, two halves of a futon, the bed, air purifier, of course, and then just like mirror. And then this suitcase is just like full of clothes, but there's like literally no dresser in here. So everything's like shoved in this crappy organizer in my closet and then things were hung up of course this is because when i moved into the apartment my sister's furniture was all here because she was still getting settled in texas so i was using her furniture like her dresser her nightstand and all that kind of stuff but then in december she came back to vegas and took it all with her and i haven't had any of that furniture in here just because i was studying for step and then getting ready for clinicals and then honestly i just kind of couldn't afford a dresser at the time so i just kind of put it off and didn't get one. But then yesterday my mom calls me and she's like, you still don't have a dresser, do you? And I was like, no. And she's like, well, I'm getting you one from Ikea. So we're gonna build this today. I am not exaggerating when I say ugh, that this thing is actually really heavy. Actually, I should probably lean it against a different wall. Okay. I think I'm gonna move things out of here so I have more floor space. I feel like building Ikea furniture is like a combination of fun, but then also aggravating once it starts to take a while. And I feel like this dresser is going to take a bit. So I'm going to go get some caffeine and then I'll get started on the dresser. There are 41 steps. <laughs> I'm going to be here for a while. All right, it has been several hours and I'm exhausted, but we are finally done. Dresser looks like this, not too bad. Definitely took me a little while, but now I'm gonna go through my closet and then go through that suitcase full of clothes and kind of organize everything. And yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the night. Hi Chip. Morning guys, happy Tuesday. So I'm going to be spending today from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the pediatric psych clinic. The cool thing about this location is it's literally across the street from my apartment, like a five minute walk, like one minute drive, which is really nice because I can literally leave like last minute, which is like very unheard of. I usually leave like half an hour before my rotation. I actually really like this clinic. The providers are really, really nice and I enjoyed my experience here last week. So I know today's gonna be a pretty good day. Also, just a little bit of an update on the clothes situation. So I went through my closet and actually like organized it. So these are all like my school of medicine jackets, white coat of course, and then like dress clothes and button ups and all the way down there are sweaters. And then I actually organized all these drawers last night, which is a miracle and there's Chip chasing a sail. Hey, Chew. Hey, Chip. Chip is officially bigger than Chewy, but Chewy doesn't let Chip win when they 
play as you can see. <laughs> All right, so it is currently lunchtime. My classmate and I grabbed some sandwiches and we just got done eating. And then I actually had a quick meeting with the student affairs person to talk about kind of our progress in clerkships and like if we've maybe started to figure out some sort of specialty that we're interested in and just kind of talk about, you know, making sure that we're competitive, even though it's like kind of early to decide, but it's still a good meeting to kind of like, you know, make sure that we're still thinking about what we want to do. Now I still have some time before the provider has their next patient. So I'm just going to sit in this conference room and do some practice questions. Morning guys, happy Wednesday. So I am pretty exhausted today. I literally didn't get home until like 3 a.m. last night because uh, one of my old friends and uh, old roommate who I lived with for five and a half years during undergrad uh, visited town. So we went out with some friends to an arcade and kind of just had a fun night. And now I'm exhausted because I got like five hours of sleep. Actually not even, I got like three hours of broken sleep because the puppies were all energetic and wanted to play when I got home at 3 a.m. So I guess the lesson of this vlog is that, you know, when you're in med school, your social life doesn't stop. You know, you have to make sacrifices to do things like see old friends and hang out with people. And sometimes that just means being a little extra tired one day so that you have that chance to catch up with your friends and, you know, still make time for them. So it's totally fine. You're gonna do it a million times in med school, but it's all worth it. So like I said, today is Wednesday, so it's didactic day, which means we're gonna be basically talking about some cases this morning, and then we'll have a break for lunch, and then we'll have some lectures given by the residents in the afternoon. And that's actually pretty much it for the day. Morning guys, so today's Thursday, and just like last week, today we are back at the day treatment program, which we really enjoyed last week. It was so fun to get to hang out with you know a lot of the patients and the people that come to the day treatment program, and the time went by really fast. I already know today's gonna be a really good day. Hey guys, happy Friday. So yesterday was a pretty good day. And after I was done with the day treatment program, I went over and actually got a haircut, got all cleaned up because tomorrow I'm actually flying out to Denver, Colorado for a research conference. It'll be pretty fun, I'm really excited and I'm actually going to vlog the entire thing. So I'll talk more about that in the vlog. Today's the last day of this rotation, which is pretty sad because I've actually really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun, the attendings were great. Uh, the other medical student I was with was awesome. I really enjoyed the different programs that they had us join in on and overall it was just a really good experience. Right now I'm gonna head over to the adult clinic where I'm gonna spend my entire last day and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here mainly because I wanna get going and then when I get back, I'm probably not gonna to wanna to vlog because I need to start packing for Denver tomorrow. But I wanna thank you guys so much for joining this vlog. I know it was a little bit choppy. I kind of have to get used to vlogging during clinicals. It's definitely different than vlogging during, you know, lectures and first and second year I felt like I had a routine but then with this vlog I felt like it was a little bit jumpy so bear with me while I kind of get used to it but I think I'm gonna vlog the rest of my rotations from now on anyway thank you guys so much again for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one